Okay, now it's time to set up our actual membership part. So we'll go back into settings again. And what we have to do is set up our membership plugin. So go into Easy PayPal Configuration. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use the PayPal Sandbox for my testing accounts. But you, know, you can, if you leave this unchecked, it uses your regular PayPal account. If you want to test it using two PayPal accounts that you own. So the first thing you need to do is do that. Check that if you're going to use the PayPal Sandbox. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into the PayPal Developer Network and use the Sandbox. Okay, so I'll put my email address in here for my PayPal account. We give it an item name. Whatever you want to call it an item number for PayPal. It's optional. Let's just call it 12345, or whatever you want. The amount you're charging for the payment on your membership site, so let's say 1249, and then US dollars or whatever your currency code, just type it in there. Number of days, so we're going to go 30 days in this case. Down here, if you're going to have a trial period, you would put it in here. Here you have a login message or a user message. What happens is when somebody first registers for your site, this is a message they will see before they're directed to PayPal. You can also add a login message down here. Under the exception list, this allows people that are in the exception list to see the pages without having to pay. And down here, categories, and we'll get to that a little later, and we'll get to these other things a little bit later. Now. So this is fine the way I want it, so I'm going to update that. Now what I have to do is I have to get this IPN URL. So I'm just going to copy the link location. Then I have to go into my PayPal account and set up the IPN, or the Instant Payment Notification, to get this to work. So I'm going to go into my Sandbox account, or your PayPal account, whichever you're using to start with. And then I'll sign in here and set up the IPN and it looks exactly the same whichever account you use. So first log in. Then go into your profile. Then down here go into instant payment notification. Now you want to edit this. Click this box and then paste the URL you just copied into here. Click save. Now your instant payment notification is now pointing to the IPN notification on that site to make sure that your users are automatically enabled. Okay, so let's go back here. And now we're basically all set as far as this is concerned for our monthly site. Now what we have to do is we would want to have some content. So let's go and first let's set up a couple of categories. We'll add um, a one called paid members. And we'll rename uncategorized. And we'll just call it everyone else public, I'll call it. Okay. Next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to manage our pages. Delete this thing. And then posts delete that. And that'll delete the comments under it. And now we're going to write some new stuff. Now what you might want to do is write a page to make your home page. So we click on write then page and then a title for your home page. Say home page title. And then some sort of introduction in here.
Now, if this is going to be the actual selling page here of your membership site, then you'll put your whole sales page in here. If it's only going to be available to your members, you're going to have a different sales page and a link that points to this page, then you can just put your introduction here. It depends how you want to set it up. Okay, so let's just save our page, just publish it. And then what we want to do is go back to settings and set our static home page. So go to reading and then click a static home page or a static page and then select the front page and we'll just call it our home page. We'll save our changes. Okay, now if we were to go and view the site, that's been set to our home page now. Okay, so let's go just back where we were. Now what you would do is you would start setting up your content as normal. For your people that are public, you can just write anything in here and they'll be able to see it. So public stuff is just like any other blog entry. But now let's have a look at private stuff. So what we'll do is here, is we'll say private members area. Now, there's ways that you can protect the content. So that the public can see this, but only paid members can see this. And all we have to do to protect content is to put this character string before it. There's a square bracket like that, pay, and another one like that. And then when you're all done, you do it again, but you do a slash pay, like so. And then our category will make paid members. Now when we publish this, okay, since we're the admin, we go and view the site and we look at our paid members category. We can see the paid stuff as well. But now let's go through the registration process and show you how this is going to work for a paying member. So let's log out here. Or first of all, one other thing we need to set is make sure that anyone can register. Okay, so now let's log out and let's register as a new member. If we were to go to the site now and you go pay, click on paid members, it says the public can see this because I can't spell public. But you'll see that where the paid stuff is, there's three dots. So that's what's happening there. It's protecting the paid members area. Okay, so let's go and register. And we'll pick a username and an email. So demo user, and we'll put an email in down here. And click register, and it sent us an email to our email address, so we check that now. And it emailed us our password. So now we key in our username and our password goes in there. We click login. And there's our window that I was talking about before telling us we're being redirected to PayPal. Okay, so here's our parameters that we set up. The custom membership and then 1249 USD for US dollars for each 30 days. So now what we have to do is sign in here. This is just like a normal PayPal account. This is emulating your buyer side. And click pay. Okay, and then your user would click return to merchant. Okay, and they're back on this page now. Now what happens is the IPN has notified our script on this side. So when I click paid members, you'll see there's the oblique can see this. 
but only paid members can see this. So our paid content is now visible. So that's how easy it is to have content on your site that only members can see. Now in the next video, I'll show you a way that you can set up multiple categories for memberships, but only for one-time type of payments, not for subscriptions.